So, New Amsterdam season finale is coming up. Yeah. What can we expect? Well, this is the series finale. This is the end of, of an amazing run. The fans have been fantastic. And what can we expect? Well, you should have your box of Kleenex ready because uh, it's going to be a tearjerker. And uh, we're just going to have more of that. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. We're going to have a crazy surgery. We're going to have the most mind-blowing surgery probably ever done on television. And that's one of the things that's going to happen. You know, as a fan, because I, I truly admire the show so much, it is so different from many of the other medical shows that I've seen. And I, that's kind of one of the things that I'm going to miss. And looking back, there's very, like, I have favorite episodes, but I'm curious, what are your favorite moments from shooting, like, any season? I mean, there's a lot you probably can remember. Sure, yeah. Well, one of my favorite episodes would be titled Preventable, and it's in season one. And uh, Max Goodwin, played by the great Ryan Eggold, uh, he was he was going through having just been diagnosed with cancer. He was afraid of dying, and he was taking it out on everybody, and particularly me when I lost a patient. And we had to do this amazing scene uh, that was written very well for us to uh, battle it out uh, in in this in this room. And we just went at it, and it, it's fantastic. It stood the test of time. Uh, it's still my favorite episodes to one of this day. Do you ever find yourself getting so into a scene and like so and living what your character lives? Do you almost find it hard to kind of shake it off afterwards, knowing that like, okay, that's the character, I'm not experiencing it, but you just feel that connection. Do you ever find it hard to shake it off? No, never. <laughs> I, as soon as they cut, they yell cut. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm back to normal, like to move on. Um, and, and honestly, <laughs> if and when that happens with actors, it's a, it's a little bit scary, you know? So uh, it, we're, we're playing here. We're having a good time. We're pre pretending, and, and that's what it's about. Well, maybe it's just me. I get so attached to things, I yeah. start crying. I am well, that person. Say, have, you, have you done that on camera, gotten real stuck in the character, or through like a class or, or practicing? No, just when I get, when a show is so well written, I oh, just, yeah. I get so sucked into it, oh. and I feel like I, and I just feel like that is me. That's something, get, and that's something a lot of people can forget. That, that cathartic feeling I feel yeah. when I'm watching television, 100%. When I'm acting, no. But as a fan, oh, it's the greatest thing ever. Now, obviously, you're like you said, you're pretending to be a doctor. But is there anything that you picked up that you're saying like, ah, maybe I could, you know, kind of like any side knowledge, something that you didn't know that now you do know? Uh, well, I, I, I hope I will never have to use it. But good old-fashioned CPR. And the idea of, 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 of keeping someone's heart uh, 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 going uh, in a time of crisis, I feel like I, I will walk away with, with that the most. But again, I hope I never have to use that. <laughs> well, let's hope you never do. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks so much for watching News by Muse. Don't forget to check us out on the Muse TV network.